Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to the Word Power series. Word power number four. Be a doer of the word. The Bible says in James 1 and 22, Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. We're going to go into that in further detail later on in this presentation. But I want to read this meme to you. It says, that further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books, there is no end. And much study is a weariness to the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahuwah, keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. For Yah shall bring every work in judgment, whatever secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Studying is a deep thing, is a tough thing, but there's nothing wrong with studying. Study to show thyself approved. I'd rather walk alone on the path of truth than to follow the belief of the mental, mentally enslaved that refuse to critically think for themselves. I'd rather walk with Yah through all the stuff I have to go through than to hang with people that's not going with any, going anywhere. This is a very powerful passage of scripture. Romans 2 and 13. It goes right along with the lesson. But not the hearers of the Torah are just before Yahuwah, but the doers of the Torah shall be justified. That is on point, on time. Let us go into the lesson. As I just read in James 1 and 22, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own self. There's some more that goes to that scripture and I'm going to read it. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholds himself and goes his way and straightway forgets what manner of man he is. But whoso looks into the perfect law of Torah, the Torah of liberty, and continues therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. If there is, there is a difference between a doer and a hearer. The definition of a doer is a person or one that's active, uh, one that pleases Yah by going about doing uh, Yah's bidding. Yahushua even said, I must be about my father's business. He was doing something. He was actively engaged into the purpose and the plan of Yah. The word here means listening, a listener only, uh, without taking any action. There's nothing wrong with listening, but after you hear, after you get good advice, the Bible says in Proverbs that you need to make war. Don't just listen, but listen with the intent, purpose of doing something. All right, I want to read this to you here. I have a, a few notes here. There's nothing wrong with hearing, but after we hear, we must take action in whatever we do. Here's a great Hebrew word. The word Shema gives a great explanation. Shema means move than just more than just to hear, but it means to imply, to heed, responding with action. It means to do something. So Shema means more than just hearing, but it means actively engaging in doing of an activity after you have heard what you needed to hear. All right. I heard some old sayings. I want to just go through some of these old sayings. Back in the day when I was younger, we used to hear old people and young folks say this. Don't just talk it, but walk it out. Here's another one. Talk is cheap. Y'all remember them words, some of you? Uh, talking loud and saying nothing. That's what a lot of folks did back in the old days. They sold them wolf tickets. Like they were going to beat somebody up, whoop somebody up, and end up getting tore up. So they were selling wolf tickets. They were talking loud, but had no action to back up what they were talking about. Here's another one. All bark and no bite. I remember hearing that on the basketball court. Guys were talking all what he could do on the court, how he can shoot. Ended up getting whooped on the court. Basketball, per se. So you have to be careful just talking and not backing up what you say. So what y'all is trying to get the point to us today is don't be just a hearer of the word, but be doers of the word, not merely hearers. Now, I found a fascinating, a powerful uh, scripture in the Amplified Bible. It's still James, the first chapter, 22 through 25. But listen how it reads in the Amplified. It says, but prove yourselves, doers, take action, perform it, one who obeys of the word, obedient to the word, actively and continually obeying Yah's precepts. That is awesome. I love that. And not merely listeners who hear the word, but fail to internalize, meditate on it. It is meaning deluding yourself or deceiving yourself by unsound reasoning contrary to the truth. 
Woo! That is some powerful stuff right there. Sitting up there deluding yourself, warding yourself down because you don't want to carry out the truth. Unsound reasoning, just talking yourself out of doing it. Hallelujah. 23 says, For if anyone only listens to the word without obeying it, he is like a man who looks very carefully at his natural face in a mirror. For once he looks at himself and going away, he immediately forget what he looks like. Now that is crazy. You saw what you had on, saw your beard, saw your hair, saw everything uh, 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 in place, and you walk away and forget immediately what you look like because you were just listening. You were not taking heed and being a doer. That's the description. That's the analogy of being a doer and a hear. Like it's like looking in the mirror and forgetting what you look like. Time you walked away, just forgetting everything you heard. Look what it says. But twenty fifth verse. But he who looks carefully into the perfect law, the Torah, the law of liberty, and faithfully abides by it, not having become a careless listener, a careless listener, who forgets, but an active doer who obeys. A careless listener will get you in trouble because you end up forgetting. Because you're careless. You heard it, but you took no action. You didn't uh, uh, put any action behind what you heard. But when you become an active doer, you obey. Watch this. The Bible says in the Amplified, Yah will bless you and pronounce you blessed before others. He will pronounce you being blessed before others because you're being a doer of the word. And favored by Yahuwah and what he does in life because he is obedient. That is powerful. I love that. I thank Yah for that. That's a good word right there. Now I want to go to the book of Psalms 1. Let's go to Psalm 1. This is exciting. This is awesome. Uh, I'm going to go to the Sefer and go to the book of Psalms and let you hear Psalms 1 from the Sefer or the Sefer Bible. And it reads, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the Torah of Yahuwah. And in his Torah he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like the chaff, which the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For Yahuwah knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. That's Psalms 1, verses 1 through 6. Now what I'm going to do, is go to the Amplified and read Psalms 1 in Amplified. I'm telling you that Amplified amplifies and magnifies what we just read here in the Sefer uh, Bible. Listen at this now in the Sefer, uh, in the Amplified book. All right, here we go. It says, Blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by Yah is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. You hear that? Y'all say that person that's blessed, fortunate, that person will be blessed and fortunate and prosperous and favored by Yah. Is that man or that woman who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked? Listen, follows their advice or example. You can't listen to the wicked and think Yah is going to prosper you. You have to listen to the words of Yah, the wisdom of Yah, his, his uh, servants, and get a word from Yah through his servants and from Yah himself through his Torah, through his word, and go forward. Nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sits down to rest in the seat of the scoffers, the ridiculers. But his delight is in the law or the Torah of Yah, and in his law, his precepts, his teaching, he habitually meditates day and night. I mean, he's he had made it a habit. That's what he's going to do. That's what she's going to do. They have made up their mind. They are very consistent uh, in studying Yah's word and meditating on his word day and night. They have made up their mind to trust Yah through it all. So right after that, you can see in the third verse, he says, and he will be like a tree firmly planted and fed by the streams of waters, which yields his fruit in his season. His leaves does not wither, and in whatever he does, he prospers and comes to maturity. So we see how Yah is going to treat his people if they obey him, if they follow him, being doers of the word and not just hears only. 
He will plant you like a tree planted by the rivers of water and strengthen you throughout. I love you. Shalom. Thank you.